Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about shifting your identity and your self-image in order to be in alignment with the goals that you want to achieve. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, I'm reading this book. It's called, actually I got it right here. It's called Psycho Cybernetics Maxwell Maltz. My mentor recommended it to me. And I guess it's been around since the 1960s or so. Uh, it's a you know, personal development, self-help book, whatever you want to call it. And it's crazy because I've read a million books, titles from all these different authors and heard of a ton. I've never heard of this one before, so it's kind of cool the way it came into my life. But it's having the most profound effect on my life and the way that things are shifting. So obviously that's the inspiration, the motivation, the message that I want to share with you today. So the way I want you to think about it is like this, whatever you have in your mind that you want to achieve. So, you know, of course, we'll go to the fitness aspect. Say that you want to, you know, get a six pack for the first time or, you know, if you're female, you want to get that peach booty and you want to get them legs right, right? Tighten up the arms, all that stuff. Whatever your fitness goal is, and we'll use it in that context. What you have to understand is this. Imagine, take a second and just literally right now while I'm talking to you, imagine the picture of yourself that you want to be when it comes to, again, we'll use fitness for example. So picture that body that you have in your mind. What do you look like? You know, what is your, what does your face look like? Probably doesn't look the same. Probably, you know, a little bit tighter, whatever. What is your uh, chest, your shoulders, your arms? What do your abs look like? What is your butt, your hips, your legs look like? What does that physique look like? What does it look like when you get out of the shower? Connect with that for a second because it's different than what you are right now. It's for everyone. So it's just about having a mental image of that goal that you want to achieve and starting with that. Now the part of it that this book is really having a shift on, the message that I want you to understand is once you have that goal in mind, who you currently are on the inside and the outside is congruent with your self image of who you really are right now. So if your thought is, man, I want to be like this person. I want to, uh, you know, or I want to achieve that body. Who is that person? Well, what you need to do is understand that that version of you is an entirely different person with an entirely different identity. Chances are that when you're that person and you look that way, you will not be the same internally. You just won't. And actually, what this book talks about in order to achieve that body that you want, you have to have a shift mentally, internally, with your identity and your self-image. And your self-image and identity internally, the picture you have in your mind, it has to be really deep in your mind and your heart. And you've got to shift the way that you think about yourself, the way that you view yourself now in the moment in order to achieve that identity. So, and disclaimer, I'm only like 60, 70 pages in. Uh, but these ideas are, man, they're super deep. I think uh, as we get going into the, the book deeper, it's going to go into kind of more of the um, the practice of doing it. So, And already, um, I think the difference in this book and why I highly recommend it as well, he talks about this isn't just a read. You need to have this be an experience. And the way you experience is, is by repeating it and doing the exercises in here. So he talks about spending 30 minutes a day with your eyes shut, silent, with nothing and no one around, just a place where you can be quiet and alone. Just sit there for 30 minutes a day and visualize what you want to look like. Visualize how that feels when you do look like that. How is that gonna feel? You're gonna have way more energy, you're gonna have way more confidence, you're gonna feel sexy, you're gonna feel uh, just sharper. I bet you'll be more mentally clear. I bet you a lot of the crap in your life that stresses you out will have all fallen by the wayside. But you have to take yourself there now what is that identity? What is that version of you like? How does he or she wake up in the morning? How does he or she uh, speak to other people and engage in their relationships? How does that, other, that person interact with food? What is their relationship like? That version of you, that identity. So again, the message is about shifting your internal self-image. The picture that you have of who you are now needs to shift into who you want to be. And what I would say is this, and what I've realized is this, uh, it's a practice, man. It's just like working out. It's just like uh, learning a new language. It's just like uh, learning to hit a golf ball for the first time or learning to lift weights, learning anything, period. It's all the same. You learn, 
you read and get the material, and then we put it into practice. And the practice is sitting there doing the work. So how do we practice switching our mental image? It's exactly what uh, the exercise I was talking about. To spend some time every day and rehearse and practice that image, rehearse and practice that visualization, hold that vision in your head, and then start to embody and feel like with as much detail as possible, what does a day look like? And that, that version of you, what, what does it feel like to be in their body for a day? And one of the important things that this book talks about, and you know, I've heard this before, but I know it's very important, is the more details, the more vivid that you can make the picture of what your day looks like when you are that version of yourself, the deeper internal shift, the deeper identity shift, the more profound change and the quicker change that you will have. The reason why is because, you know, you, you may have heard this or not, we have the, con the conscious mind, the subconscious, the unconscious mind. Everything is actually created underneath the surface, our subconscious mind. And what we tell ourselves consciously, consistently, is creating a belief system subconsciously. And when we're sleeping, when we're not thinking about it, all these things that are just happening behind the scenes in our mind, in our brain, in our heart, in our soul, it's being formed by the subconscious beliefs that we have. So we've got to practice shifting our identity and visualizing what it feels like and see it in your mind of who you want to be. And then 30 minutes a day, internalize the feeling of that identity and shift your mental image. And we practice, we practice, we practice, we practice every single day. What's the power of this? What's the, the importance of this? Well, here's what I've realized in my own life. If I have something I'm trying to achieve, and this is why my mentor recommended this to me in my book, I'll use a personal example for me. So as I build my online training business, right, what are my limiting beliefs right now? And it doesn't talk about this in the book, but it's very important to do. What are my beliefs about my ability to be a successful business owner, entrepreneur, uh, to be organized and, and um, you know, strategic and uh, consistent in order to build, you know, do all these things in order to build that. So my identity right now as a businessman is nowhere near who I will be when I am at the next level of my business that I've set for myself. So what do I need to do? Man, I've already started doing it. It's so freaking powerful. I think about my life right now, what my daily habits are life, and I'm falling into a very nice routine and building momentum. And I've talked about the importance of doing that before in other videos, and I'm sure I'll make other content about that. But as I've fallen into a good uh, you know, momentum and just starting to build these habits, this book has been so powerful for me because I'm thinking, okay, when my business is, is at this level, who am I? Who is that guy? Who's that version of Pierce? Is it it's damn well like the same one sitting here right now talking to you? Uh, <laughs> a lot, lot of changes internally, right? Uh, that version of Pierce is more structured, is more organized. I realized right now having that identity, that, that vision of myself and working backwards, I'm seeing very clearly the disconnect. I'm like, what are my habits like in the daytime now in order to build a successful business? What is that version of me like? Man, they're off. <laughs> so just holding that vision and starting to shift my identity, it's allowed me to see in this moment what I need to work on, the habits I need to change, the new skills I need to learn, the way I need to go about my day, the way that that version of me is, who is that man? Now I'm creating that shift. And the funny thing is, is just by creating that shift in the mental imagery, I'm having all these awesome ideas and inspiration about things I need to do in order to make my brand what it is. And more importantly, I'm seeing and feeling now in this moment through this practice, the habits that I need to do the things that I need to do each day, how I need to live my life, who I am as that version of me. You know what I mean? Does that, does this version of me, does a successful entrepreneur um, Pierce with his YouTube rocking it out, doing his thing, does this dude wake up at, uh, you know, 8 a.m., which is 8 a.m. is late for me. Eight, does he wake up at 8, 8.30 a.m., you know, 9 a.m. and sleep in and hang out? That's sleeping into me, I know, it's crazy. I'm an early riser. So, um, you know, or am I up at 5.30, like straight into my meditation, come in, you know, do my writing, do some reading, getting my mind clear for the day, setting that up. It's funny, man. It's so different already just having that visualization. So the first thing, let's, let's dissect this, is you need to change. In order to achieve success to the level that you want, you must shift your identity. Your identity is your self-image. Your self-image 
is what you consciously and unconsciously think about yourself, who you are. So in order for us to achieve that vision of who you want to be, you shift your identity by forming a new mental image, a new self image of who you are. And that new self image that you're practicing is this version of you, continuing to visualize and feel what it's like to be that man, that woman. And as you do that consistently, we start to feel these integrations. We start to uh, envision these different ideas and we get this inspiration out of nowhere and all these new ideas and stuff uh, and things we get to change in order to shift. This is your, your higher self kind of guiding you once you do this exercise. So we identify what we want. Um, we start to have this internal shift and the way that we do that what this book recommends, and I'm gonna do it, it, 30 minutes a day, sit down quiet in silence, nobody, nothing around, and sit there and mentally visualize who is that man, who's that woman, and then start to feel in detail, what is it like? What does that guy do when he first wakes up? What's his life like? How does he feel when he first wakes up? What does he eat for breakfast? What is his agenda? What is his life like or her life like when she gets out of bed in the morning and goes through her day, what is her structure like? What is her relationships like? Have mock conversations with people in your life. Um, you know, what does that version of you speak to the people in your life or new people? How are they? You know what I mean? Um, what kind of car are they driving? Can you smell the leather? Can you smell the new car smell? You know, do you walk out? How does it feel to see that car in your driveway? Where does that person live? Right? What does, uh, you know, how does... Um, that version of you. How does she feel when she leaves the gym? What are her workouts like? See what I'm saying? So the more powerful and the more visual that you make it in your mind, but more importantly, and I've heard this from so many other books, Neville Goddard, Feeling is a Secret. Uh, this other one I have right here, uh, The Miracle Power of Your Mind by Joseph Murphy. This one's like a compendium of his, a bunch of different books, but basically it all says the same thing, that visualizing is important. Put this book back. Visualizing is important. But the secret to manifesting these things that we want is embodying the feelings, the emotion. Uh, and it talks about this, and if you're a science geek, you'll love this book. So it talk, talks about the mechanisms that are at play and at work that actually support this being like, not just guesswork or some spiritual shit. No, it's a scientific proven thing that when you, you basically, your body and your mind are like computers. And when you consciously program your brain and your body to work together as a computer, it's like a computer program, it's on automatic. So that's how we operate no matter what. Most people are just operating on an unconscious program. So you've got to become aware um, of those beliefs, start turning those beliefs, that's part of the identity shift, right? But this is like a scientific thing. <laughs> it's not a, you know, some woo woo things. This is like a step-by-step -step program um, in order to success, I'm doing it like this because you know we're going this way, we going up trajectory. So uh, that's it for today, guys. Um, Psycho Cybernetics, Maxwell Maltz. In order to achieve what you want, shift your identity, and the way that you shift your identity is by first imagining that picture of you in that position, achieving that goal, and then starting to embody the feeling, starting to visualize and make it so freaking real all the time on a daily basis that all of a sudden, one day you're just gonna be like, oh shit, that's me. Like, and it might come as a realization and be like, dude, I'm making that much money. I am, I'm hitting that goal. I am you know, living my purpose. Oh my God, I can see my abs or whatever. And you're gonna trip out one day out of nowhere and just be like, whoa, that's wild. Like this is what I had in my mind six months ago and then all I've done is visualize and feel what it's like to be that person and slowly but surely, holy shit, I'm there. So it's kind of it's kind of cool to see that happen. But this also, last thing I'll say is this applies to any anything in your life. This is just how we operate as human beings. Um, and again, I highly recommend reading this book and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's literally how we are designed by, you know, the creator, God, you know, whatever that source is to you. This is how we are designed to operate. Um, it's, it's how our mind and our body is designed to work. So this guy's basically put a framework into how to hack and program yourself in order to achieve what you want to achieve. Um, extremely valuable. So it doesn't matter if it's money, if it's your business, if it's health, if it's relationships, visualize, internalize, feel it, and it will happen. So uh, stay tuned because I will absolutely do an update on this video. Maybe, I don't know, like in six months or so, we'll see where I'm at. Cause 
like I said, I'm only going to be about 60, 70 pages in, um, but I plan on reading it probably two or three times. I'm not going to, don't even think I want to read any other books until I go through this about two or three times, and I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to practice it. Cause I, I was telling my mentor, you know, it's interesting, I've heard this so many times um, in different ways, but for some reason with this book, for me, it's clicking. Um, some, it's hit me a little bit different. Something's, something's clicking where I have like a deeper understanding of like what, what this really means to that you know Neville Goddard feeling is the secret to really feel what it's like to embody that version that future version of myself so um, that's it for today but thank you so much for watching I appreciate you uh, of course you know please like it if you like the video share it with other people if you thought this was helpful uh, lo would love if you and appreciate if you subscribe to the channel my goal is to help as many people as possible and when you interact and leave a comment subscribe all that stuff uh, it goes out into the YouTube algorithm and it only helps uh, spread this message again if it was helpful to you to other people um, so that we can uplift everyone can achieve their goals we can live happier healthier lives that's what this is all about so love you i appreciate you and i will see you next time